happy Thursday, guys. It's actually a bank holiday here in Italy. Um, Ferragosto, as they call it. So no, there's like no one here. Literally no one. Well, there, I hear cars going by, but not as much because most of the people, they go up to the beach at this time. But me and Marco, we just stayed home. So we went to Nonna's for lunch and we had pasta and beans or pasta fagioli. And it was really, really good. But it's okay if we had pasta today because we didn't have pasta this week, which is good. So guys, I'm actually about to cook right now. So what we're going to have tonight is um, hamburger and fries. Look, I'm just getting the fries in the freezer. And then we're going to cook the hamburger. I wanted to show you guys how they cook the hamburger or how my mom-in-law cooks the hamburger here. It's not really like a burger with like bread um, and the, uh, what do you call it? The patty. It's just the patty, aren't they? But it's just the uh, yung, yung meat lang mismo yung lulutuin ko. So that's how they call it, hamburger. For them, hamburger na yun. I didn't actually vlog for the days. It's like almost 8 p.m. and I just started vlogging because I wanted to show you guys kung paano nila niluluto or, or how my mom in law cooks it. And super setup niya. Super simple, pero super setup. I'll show you guys. Wait. So, inuuna ko muna yung fries kasi medyo matagal siya maluto or mas matagal siya maluto kaysa sa patty or sa, ano matawag doon? Kaysa sa meat mismo. So, I'm just cooking the fries now. Pakita ko lang sa inyo. Ayan. So, malalaki siya. Malalaking fries. And that's how they usually do. They usually have the burger or the patty with the fries and okay na yun. Let's just cook this first and then we will cook the meat in a bit. So like I said guys, today we went to Nona's for lunch and we had pasta fagioli. Last night we went to his uncle's place. So I don't think I was able to finish the vlog yesterday. What did I do yesterday? Um, what did I cook yesterday? I forget. But yeah, I know I vlogged yesterday. But I wasn't able to finish it off because I had to go to Zio. And we had dinner there with his family. And then we just went home. We went home around 12 midnight, so yeah. Today, guys, we didn't really work. Uh, I mean, Marco worked. I didn't work today. I worked for like two hours, but that's it. Because it's holiday dito, and I felt like not working today. So I just edited a video for Saturday. Tomorrow's Friday. I'm not sure kung anong gagawin namin. Uh, maybe we'll probably eat out for dinner. But yeah, daytime, I'm definitely going to work. So habang inaante ko to magluto, guys, um, I wanted to talk about something. Because may mga nag-reach out sa akin through Facebook through my Facebook page and also some through Instagram about the Italian Filipina wedding or companion process and um, how long it took all that all those questions so uh, most the most asked question was how long did I have to wait um, until I moved to Italy or from preparing the documents to uh, coming here to Italy so while this is cooking I can actually answer that for you guys here so Michael guys proposed to me around February um, and then so we had like a month so one month to prepare everything all the documents so from the documents required from the local civil registry hanggang sa documents required by the embassy kasi kailangan mo din magpasa ng documents or Marco needed to pass documents to the embassy Italian embassy sa Philippines Kasi nga, he needed to get, I think it was the legal capacity he needed to get from the embassy. And yung legal capacity na yun, kailangan naman yun from the local civil registry. So there were, if I can remember very well, there were two, two documents that Marco needed to give to the uh, Italian embassy, which was the Stato Libero and his birth certificate to get the legal capacity. If I can remember very well, guys, medyo mahina yung aking aking uh, memory but yeah so we did all of that so what his parents did was that they just mailed his documents Stato Libre and also his birth certificate and that's it so that took about I would say three weeks till it till we received it because it was snail mail hindi pa ano yun hindi pa express yun so kung express yun of course mas madali the only reason why kung bakit nila um tignan ko lang dong guys the only reason kung bakit sorry maingay na naman so the only reason kung bakit wala si Marco nun is because nakatila na siya sa Pilipinas. So mostly what people can do or what your Italian fiancé can do is kung may time sila pumunta sa Philippines, um, let's say if they're gonna stay for two months, three months, um, before they go to the Philippines, it would be best kung dalhin na nila yung kailangan. 
So like, the Tato Libro and his birth certificate. Kasi, kaya lang naman namin pinadala, pinadala or kaya namin ni-request sa magulang niya just because Marco was already living in the Philippines. So, I yearn. So, that was around February, guys. We started gathering the documents. So, mga uh, April, April 21, guys, that's the time of we, when we got married. So, I would say about a month and a half, we were able to get everything. But that is because we didn't encounter any problems, okay? Guys, when me and Marco were in the Philippines, sa Muntinlupa kami nakatira nun. So, I had to go to the local civil registry in Muntinlupa to get the requirements. I did vlogs about it, guys, um, what documents I did. I also have a website, which is www.justliveyourthoughts.com which you can also check out kung gusto niyo malaman kung ano yung mga documents na binigay ko but of course you also have to ask your local civil registry kung paano nga ba ang process nila because it really depends right and, and even if let's say tagamuntin lupa ka I don't know if the documents are still the same my website guys I was able to blog kung ano yung mga documents na pinasa ko and where you can get them so just for future reference as well so yun April 21, we got married and we were able to do everything in time. First, you need to get your marriage license, which takes about 10 to 12 business days. And then once you have the marriage license na bibigay sa uni, local civil registry, that's the time when you can get married. Kasi hindi ka pwede kasal na walang marriage license. So marriage license is different from the marriage certificate. Marriage certificate is when you guys are already married or wed and union certificate na manggagaling sa PSA. Okay, so marriage license is a license that you need to get married. Marriage certificate is a certificate that you guys are married or wed already. How long did it take now after getting married to move to Italy? So we got married April 21st. We started processing the documents, went to the Italian embassy how many times and we needed to wait for our our marriage or our yeah our marriage to be reg registered here in Italy so that took about i would say a month yeah a month or maybe even just 3 to 4 weeks yeah, which is a month but some people it could take longer depending on san sila naka or san taga san si habi so marco fortunately where he lives it's a really small town so madali lang yung process but you know if your husband is from a big city like rome or like Venice or like other big places or other big cities then baka matagalan so it can last up to two to three months depending really on the place so afternoon guys um april 21st we got married by june 24 we were here already so ganun kabilis yung process namin kung ano yung kinabilis sa pilipinas kinabagal naman dito sa sa ano sa italy guys so chamba chamba lang talaga yan guys but just make sure that you follow everything para walang um, delay. You know, I would really advise kung pupunta kayo sa isang lugar para magtanong or um, let's say you want to go to the embassy to ask this or you need to go to the Italian embassy to get the legal capacity. Tanungin nyo na lahat ng gusto nyo tanungin para hindi lang ipabalik-balik. The same goes with the local civilians. Malapit na maluto ang ating fry so I'm gonna start cooking the patty. Dalagay ko yung olive oil sa ating Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, first things first, we put the oil next. Let's put the patty, guys. Ito yung sinasabi ko. Ito yung meat. Parang ano lang siya. Ano mo tawag dito? Um, minced meat na parang hamburger talaga. So, let's just put that. This. So, tatlo yung binili ni Marco kanina. So, we're just gonna... Parsley. Kind of like that. 
salt. And maybe we can put salt later. Okay, and then you just cover it. Then, for the natin siyang i-hook. Ayan guys, tinan over ko na siya. And, and then, we just wait a few minutes. Actually, pag yung mami loko yung nagluluto nito, parang hilaw pa. Kaya ayaw ko ng ganun. So, ano yung ka talaga siya? Lulutuin ko siya ng gusto. Para, okay na siguro yung fries natin. Iyon natin yung... So, all we had was just parsley, garlic, and the patty, or yung meat mismo. And we have the fries. Mmm. Just waiting for Marco. 